two of the best floor plans by Scott Felder Homes. Hi everyone, Seth Capel, Realtor here, and today we are touring a beautiful model home by Scott Felder out in Dripping Springs, perhaps my favorite neighborhood in the Dripping Springs area. But also keep in mind, you can get this floor plan home in several other areas of Central Texas around Austin, including Georgetown, Liberty Hill, the Lakeway area by Lake Travis, and I will share with you all the information on those different neighborhoods but also keep in mind that i just had some clients in town who are moving from california to austin to texas and they initially did not have this floor plan at all on their list of top homes and we took a look at it mainly because it was super close to another house we were touring and as soon as they went in it quickly skyrocketed to their top three homes that they were considering. So I'm gonna share with you why in this video. Additionally, I am going to share with you some of the ways I think people tend to look at model homes the wrong way. And I'm gonna explain what I mean later in the video, but there to me is a more methodical and correct way to evaluate a model home and the floor plan than what a lot of people get caught up in and distracted by. And I will explain to you what I mean by that. But this is the Chesapeake floor plan with several structural changes, structural upgrades, and you're seeing one right here because this is a dining room space. But normally in the floor plan, the kitchen would be smaller. There would be a small like eat-in kitchen breakfast area and then a game room space. But because the kitchen has the extended kitchen option, which makes the kitchen so much bigger, they lose the smaller breakfast area and make it a large dining room area. And you lose the game room in that space. But don't worry, there's two other options in this home, how you can get a game room or flex room type space. So I'm gonna explain that to you in just a little bit. But you're seeing a beautiful modern bed hood here a stunning commercial style KitchenAid range. It has four burners, but it also has that griddle top, which is just fantastic for certain types of foods. I don't know if you like your home fries or if you like to fry your burgers or make pancakes on there. There's a lot of options, uh, but you're seeing there a nice stainless steel apron front sink, and you can see straight into the family room. But I wanna point out that this model home was built uh, about eight years ago. And so the Chesapeake floor plan that we're in right here has had several versions, several major overhauls during that time. And so I want to share with you that, that even though you're seeing this home with um, a little bit dated in a sense, I would say several things up front that you're going to notice. One, they made the ceiling height higher. They took away some of the arches that make it feel a little bit more traditional, possibly feel a little bit more closed in. In the more up-to-date Chesapeake plan, you have the higher ceilings, you have more clean lines, and there's a few other changes. And guess what? I am gonna show you a brand new Chesapeake home that is actually currently for sale later in the video. I'm also gonna show you another home that is absolutely stunning, a two-story home that is on the market as well, that was possibly the home that these other clients were going to buy before they made their final decision. And that home is absolutely phenomenal. But the Chesapeake floor plan is possibly the most popular one-story floor plan by Scott Felder Homes. You are seeing one of the reasons right there out the back, that covered patio, extended covered patio option is stunning. We're gonna get out there in just a couple of minutes, but I wanna show you a dining room space and how that can be turned into a flex room space. And then there's another 
huge surprise in this home because it is a one-story home on the plan, but guess what? There is an option that takes you up a level with a game room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and you're gonna see that when we get upstairs in this home. They put that option in this model home, and it's phenomenal. So here you have a beautiful formal dining room space. I love that elegant accent wall there and the pop-up ceiling with another nice design there. But keep in mind, there is an easy structural upgrade that turns this formal dining into a flex room space. So whether you want a second home office, a playroom, an art studio, whatever you're gonna use that space for, an extra TV room, because remember, that dining room space off of the kitchen is now massive. It's a huge dining room space. So you don't, possibly you don't need another formal dining room space. You can use that as a flex room. Now here we are in the owner's suite, really nice size, beautiful, beautifully done in the model home here. And they did add that bow window in the back there. Gives you a few extra square feet there. There's several changes in this home that increase the square footage from the base. I'm gonna give you all the stats on this home as we get into it. And one thing to note, also interesting to note, Calatera was a neighborhood that these same clients who are moving here from California, moving from California to Texas, they wrote off Calatera a few years back when they were thinking of moving at that time. But a couple of things changed in Calatera mainly one main thing changed in Calatera that put it back on the contender list. So I'm gonna share that with you as well. Now here we are in the master bathroom, the owner suite bathroom. It's absolutely stunning in my opinion. You have the uh, double vanities, the double sinks, plus another vanity there that you just saw, which I guess would be more of like for doing hair and makeup. And so here's the other vanity here. You have the sinks, the extra cabinetry there, and the shower is just phenomenal. One of the walkthrough showers that, you know, I always joke, it's kind of like a, you can turn everything on and it's like a car wash. You just walk through and you come out clean. You know, may, maybe not so simple, but it's, but it's fun to think about. There you have a jetted tub, just a beautiful, beautiful bathroom here in my opinion. Now keep in mind, if you are building this home from the ground up, you get to pick all of your tile selections to match the style that you're looking for. And also if you're looking for a quick delivery home, each one is gonna have different color selections and you may kind of be more attracted to one or the other. And sometimes there's some small things that you may not like in a quick delivery home that are fairly easy to change after closing. And if you need contractors for some things, that is something I absolutely can help my clients with finding reputable and pretty good value contractors. Take a look at this beautiful walk-in closet. You think, okay, this is a really good size. Guess what? There's two of them in this home. This is just one walk-in closet, beautifully done. And a lot of the, you're gonna see a lot of the quick delivery homes, they don't necessarily include closets of this caliber. One, I guess, for the reason that it costs quite a bit of money. But secondly, because if you are going to customize a closet, it is just about that. It's personalizing that closet, customizing that closet to match your needs, which are gonna be unique. You know, you may have tons of purses and shoes or suits or ties or, you know, uh, you know, 48 pairs of Nike sneakers that you wanna display. Whatever your specific situation is, is gonna dictate how you wanna design your custom closet. And so if you're getting a quick delivery home, you can absolutely put in a closet that matches your needs, that's really luxurious and matches everything you want after closing. In fact, that's another area where I can help get you a great contractor to customize your closet. I'll take a quick moment to introduce myself. My name is Seth Capel. I've been a realtor in Central Texas for 18 years now, and I specialize in all different types of new construction all around Central Texas. So if you have any questions about master plan communities or building with luxury production home builders, whether that's Scott Felder or Toll Brothers or Perry Homes or so many others, I have worked with dozens of them over the years. And I always share with my clients the good and the bad 
of each of the different builders because they all have things that you need to know about before you select the right builder for yourself. And even if you're looking to buy land and then build a custom home or a semi-custom home or a build on your own lot, I can absolutely guide you through that decision process to figure out which is the best option for you and your family. So take a look at this covered patio. I think it's absolutely beautiful and one of the main attractions of this Chesapeake floor plan. So you have the extended living, you have the fireplace option there, you have the outdoor kitchen option there. I love these beams, this Texas style wood beam, outdoor living, I love the tongue and groove ceiling. And it's definitely, whenever I bring clients out to a Chesapeake, or even a lot of other Scott Felder one-story floor plans have a similar outdoor living option. Uh, and I highly recommend it because here in Texas, if you haven't heard, in the summer, it is hot. It's hot right now. We're in June 2024 and it's hot out. We often get many, many days in a row of 100 plus heat. Definitely one of the drawbacks of moving to Texas if you don't love that super hot weather. But you know what? There are so many ways that we enjoy life outside or life inside at the hottest parts of the year. Of course, we have air conditioning pretty much everywhere. And then we have swimming pools, watering holes, jumping in the creeks, whatever it could be to cool off. We're going to find a way to do it. Staying hydrated, all that good stuff. But keep in mind that the fall, the spring, and the winters here are wonderful. So it's, you know, it took me a little bit to adjust. I moved to Texas about 20 years ago from the New York area. And for sure, initially, there's a little bit of an adjustment period. But over time, it has absolutely been a godsend to live in Texas. It's one of my best decisions ever. So if you're thinking about it and you have questions about the pluses and minuses of moving to Texas, reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk, especially if you're coming from the Northeast. You can reach out to me anytime. But I have clients all the time moving from California, from Seattle, from Portland, from Chicago, Florida, Colorado. There's so many places across the country where folks are relocating to Texas and specifically Central Texas and Austin. And, you know, I work all of the different areas. So if you have questions about, well, what's life like in Liberty Hill versus Dripping Springs or Georgetown or out in Bastrop, there's so many great areas to consider. And even if you're trying to decide between the major cities in Texas, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, or many others, I can give you an, you know, kind of an insider, outsider, insider opinion since, um, you know, I wasn't born in Texas, but, you know, as the bumper sticker says, I got here as quick as I could. Um, but, you know, I can always give you kind of the uh, uh, insight into what each of the cities is like and the pluses and minuses or and, and especially more of the country towns as well. So reach out to me with that if you'd like. But we're touring along here. We're in this Chesapeake plan. Let me give you all the specs on this home. So we are in a large one-story home that the base plan is a one-story home, four bed, three and a half bathrooms, about 3325 square feet. Now keep in mind in Calatera, you can build this on 80 foot lots or 100 foot lots. And it comes as a base on the website. It comes as a three car garage. And I will tell you that will depend on the lot. So if by chance you're putting it on a smaller lot, it you know, it may not accommodate a three car garage, but if you're on an 80 or a 100, it should absolutely accommodate the three car garage. And remember, there's different structural options to go up, different structural options to go out. And so you have several structural changes that, you know, make the home fit better for you. And that often adds square footage depending on the structural option that you select. And so one of the great things about Scott Felder is they have so many great one-story floor plans. So if you're looking for a one-story plan, maybe like some people might consider this a one and a half story home because it has that upstairs, but it's more than just a game room. It has an upstairs game room. You're gonna see it in just a couple of minutes. It's, it's really beautiful. So remember I mentioned that these other clients had written off Calatera years back and now a major change happened and it is back as a contender neighborhood for them. Well, what was that change? Of course, it's something really important, which is the tax rate. 
Years back, the tax rate was higher. It was something like 2.8 or something in that neighborhood, 2.7, 2.8. And recently, over the years, certain aspects of the tax rate can be reduced. Some of it is, is basically debt, and as they pay off that debt, then they can lower the tax rate over time. There's different scenarios, but in this case, the tax rate is currently down to 2.41, and if you've seen Calaterra and you see how absolutely stunning the area is, it's such a wonderful uh, hill country neighborhood. So many trees, the creeks, and it's not just creeks. I mean, the creek out here, uh, it's basically like a small river. You can jump into it. It's wonderful. And you can fish from it. And it's absolutely stunning to just walk down to. It's, it's one of the, my favorite neighborhoods. If you're looking for hills and trees and topography and just nature, you really should take a look at Calterra. And now what's nice is it has a more reasonable tax rate. And I'm gonna share with you the base prices of the Chesapeake floor plan here in Calatera, but also in a few other neighborhoods, meaning Santa Rita Ranch, uh, Riverstone, and a couple of others. But in Calatera, the base price of the Chesapeake floor plan is right around 882,000. And that will depend on the lot size. If you're on an 80 foot lot versus a 100 foot wide lot, these are larger lots than are typical in most neighborhoods. So that is a really great thing if you're looking for that elbow room of a lot. Now, also, if you are one of my one acre plus lot of uh, people who is looking for that real hill country Texas feel, whether that's one acre or two or five acres, that is definitely something I can help you with. Uh, and there are several uh, custom builders or build on your own lot builders I can share with you uh, when we talk about that. But here in Calatera, there are currently two Chesapeake homes that are um, ready, they're complete, and they're for sale. Uh, and one of them has a three-car garage, and one of them has a two-car garage. And they're about 34, 60 square feet, give or take. And so I am gonna walk you through one of them that in just a couple of minutes, it's absolutely beautiful. It has more clean lines. It has higher ceilings. And so you're going to basically see the progression from this model home, this Chesapeake that was built about eight years ago. You're going to see the progression of four versions later to what it is today in a quick delivery home in just a couple of minutes. So stick around for that. And then I'm going to share with you information about another Chesapeake quick delivery home in a different neighborhood in a different part of central Texas. And don't forget, I'm gonna show you that two-story quick delivery home here in Calatera that's on the market. That one is one of my favorite homes ever. I think you're gonna love that home. It's more modern, it's absolutely beautiful. And that one is a really great value. And here we are going up to show you what you can get if you get the second level on a Chesapeake. And there are several options. And you know, so you may just get the game room and a bathroom up here or you may get what's up here, which I'm gonna show you all of it right here. I love that wood accent wall, but look how much space is up here. So if you have, you know, maybe more family come over, or if you just wanna keep this upstairs for your entertainment space or a big media room space, you can build your Chesapeake floor plan with this upstairs space and just, you know, maybe you're up here, maybe you're sending the grandkids up here and they're having a blast, but it's absolutely, beautiful and it gives you a lot of extra square footage. Oh, and I don't even think I mentioned this, but I am going to show you an aerial uh, video in just a few moments of Calatera so you could see just what I'm talking about. When I say Calatera is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Dripping Springs, I don't wanna just tell you, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show you with an aerial video shortly. So I hope you stick around for that. It's absolutely beautiful out here. If you love looking at rolling hills and trees and creeks, it is so pretty out here. So I did mention, I'm going to share with you pricing of the Chesapeake plan, of this plan. Um, now, they each vary a little bit. As I mentioned, there are structural options. And this is just stunning. I love this space up here. 
If you have grandkids or just kids and they just wanna come up here and have sleepovers or have the grandkids come over and, and spend the weekend, this is phenomenal. Look how cool this space is. And then there's a bathroom right here. But what a fun uh, space with all those different bunk beds built in like that. It is just looks like a dream for me. So I could think back to being a kid and I certainly never had an opportunity to stay in a spot like that. It looks like so much fun. So, okay, so first off, in uh, Georgetown, the neighborhood of Riverstone, first off, you should take a look at my video of the model home there. I believe it's the Duval floor plan in Riverstone. I have a great video of that model home. But you can also get a Chesapeake there, and they have one that is coming soon. It's gonna be ready in September. And that is a one-story home, three-car garage, right about 3450 square feet, Chesapeake floor plan on. They have really nice size lots over there, um, possibly bigger than over here. I'm not sure exactly, but it's really good size lots. A lot of them back up to Greenbelt out there. It's really beautiful. If you're looking for something north, uh, take a look at that Riverstone. And really, I, I urge you to take a look at my video of that model home. But the price of that home over there, this is a quick delivery home, so it's it's all in at right around 910,000. There is another one that's on a one acre lot in Liberty Hill that is also about 3450 square feet and that one has been reduced so much. It's under 900 at 899,990 on one acre. So that is a phenomenal opportunity there. There's another one, I believe it's also on a one acre lot in Double Eagle Ranch in Cedar Creek, which is east and it's so close to the Tesla Giga. That one also has a three car garage, 3450 square feet. And that one is priced at around 860,000 on a one acre lot. And it is ready now, it's on the market right now. If you are thinking about Liberty Hill, about Santa Rita Ranch, a super popular neighborhood. I know if you follow my channel, you've seen many different homes on my channel in Santa Rita Ranch. There is a Chesapeake there that absolutely blew my clients away because it's so luxurious and that one is priced under a million. So if you have a chance, take a look at that home. It is phenomenal. It has really luxurious finishes throughout, especially in the kitchen and outside. Beautiful green belt views on that home in Santa Rita Ranch. But this is Calatera right here. And this home is on the market right now. And I think you could see straight away so many more straight lines in this Chesapeake plan. You don't have those arches. The ceilings are higher and it's stunning. It's a definitely more modern, more up to date. And this home is 3,458 square feet. We're at, the address is 587 Bridgewater Loop. And it is priced, the list price is 968 approximately. But you know, of course, we're gonna talk about what this would go for out the door. So if you have questions about that kind of thing, you know, that's something I talk about one-on-one. -on -one. So you can always reach out to me about that. If you'd like all of this information, the Chesapeake and the floor plan and the MLS sheet and even the survey of this property and several other things that are available on these different properties, um, documents, just send me an email or shoot me a text. Again, my contact information, it's in the description of the video, but I'll just share with you quickly if you want to text me, my direct cell phone, it's 512-750-8495. Or you could email me, seth at texhomes.net, T-E-X-H-O-M-E-S.net. I mentioned earlier that I think there's a right and a wrong way to view a model home. And, you know, I, I, that sounds a little bit, you know, maybe strong. But basically, sometimes I'm with clients and they love the chandelier, or they love the bling of a certain model home. You know, and the, the reality is, if you're going to build a home from the ground up, you get to pick all of that at the design center. So in a sense, that can be distracting when you're trying to decide first on which floor plan is best for me. Goodness, it's so beautiful out here. This is what Calatera looks like. It's just absolutely beautiful. 
So, okay, so, so what I mean is if you're looking for a floor plan and you're gonna build it, you know, when you walk through that model home, a lot of things can be modified. And that does depend on the builder. There are definitely some super tracky builders that make hardly any changes. You really don't even get to choose many color selections at all. But if you're looking at Scott Felder, you if you're building, you can go to the design center, you pick out so many of the colors, the flooring, the tile, the lighting, so many different things, especially all the structural options. Now, you know, what I would say one or two of the drawbacks of Scott Felder. Because again, my job, if I'm representing you, is to make sure you understand all the pluses and minuses of each different builder option that you have. And Scott Felder has so many positives and I'm happy to share all of those with you and more of them with you. And I try to as we walk through these beautiful homes. But you know, Scott Felder has many structural options for you to choose from. Look how beautiful this home is, by the way. This home is absolutely stunning, okay? I love it. I love the freestanding tub. I love that modern shower. So, you know, compare this to the model home. You could see that the bathroom layout is different. It's, it's, they're both beautiful, but in very different ways. And this one is so fresh and, and obviously it's super clean. I mean, it's brand new. Um, and it just has that clean line feel. It's absolutely beautiful. But what I wanted to mention was there are some builders that you can request changes that are not even structural options offered. And some builders will entertain those options. And of course, there's some builders that are full custom and they'll do anything you want. They're full custom builders. But I mean, even uh, other production builders uh, or semi-custom builders will modify their plans. They'll say, oh, I need this office to be five feet longer. And they can sometimes make that happen. Scott Felder, as far as I understand, will not do that. By the way, we are now entering this gorgeous two-story home. This is one of my favorite two-story homes that I've seen in a while. So take a look at how gorgeous this two-story home is. We're here in Calatera. This is 368 Bridgewater and I'm going to give you all the details on this home because you haven't seen this one yet, I don't believe. So, okay, so the first drawback I'm mentioning, and I'm just, you know, this is, it's just what Scott Felder does and what they don't do. They typically won't make structural changes that are not offered already as an option on their plan. And they also don't do build on your own lot. So if you want to buy a one acre lot or a five acre lot, whatever size, three quarter acre lot, and then choose your builder and say, oh, I'd love to put a Chesapeake on my five acre lot out in this part of central Texas. Scott Felder is not going to do that as far as I understand. They don't offer a build on your own lot program at this time. That may change in the future, but at this time, as far as I understand, they don't offer that. There are several great builders that do. And if you follow my channel, you know you've heard of several of them already. But if you have questions about that, reach out to me, of course. Again, I'm always happy to help. Let me give you all the stats on this stunning two-story home. It's really beautiful, and I don't even know if it's coming through in the video, but it's gorgeous home. And in just a moment, I'm gonna take you up in the aerial drone and show you more of Calatera and just how gorgeous this neighborhood is. So stick around for the aerial. But take a look at this beautiful home. This is a Lantana floor plan, a quick delivery home. It is obviously fully complete right now. This home is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It states that it's about 3357 square feet. But I have to tell you, sometimes I'm walking through homes and I look at the square footage number and I just, it feels larger to me than that. I'm not saying it is larger. I'm just saying that sometimes floor plans feel bigger and sometimes they feel smaller. This one to me feels bigger. Maybe it's because of the high ceilings. Maybe it's because of all the natural light and the line of sight that you have. Maybe it's because of this gorgeous backyard and that beautiful tree. And I mean, it's just such a beautiful home. Uh, you know, obviously when you have the same size lot and you build a two story home, so you're getting square footage up versus only on the main level, you get a larger space dedicated to yard space in the backyard. The lot's the same size, but because the footprint of the home 
is smaller than if all this square footage was on a one story, your backyard is going to seem, and it is actually larger. So that's a great benefit of a two story home if that works for your lifestyle and your needs. But here we are in the master bedroom, the owner's suite right here. Also a nice bay window right here with the pop-up ceiling. And again, you're just seeing how beautiful it is out there with the trees. And this happens to be a really flat backyard. A lot of a mountain calatera are not flat simply because you're in the hill country. Dripping Springs is known as the gateway to the hill country. I, I love this bathroom. I love these freestanding tubs. I don't even take baths, but I love the look of the freestanding tub. And it's just beautiful. It's something, at least if I'm gonna have a tub, I want it to be pretty to look at if I'm not gonna get into it ever. So let me tell you the list price of this home right now. This is 368 Bridgewater. This is the Lantana floor plan. This is currently on the market. This exact home, it's absolutely stunning again. The list price is right around 875,000. I will tell you, you can build this home in Santa Rita Ranch. You could build it in Riverstone, I believe. They have a couple, two or three available in Lakeway, in Rough Hollow, which is right by Lake Travis. And in Santa Rita Ranch, the base floor plan is right around 775,000. And that is a wonderful neighborhood. So wonderful that I moved there myself. Here we are in Calatera though. Take a look at how stunning this neighborhood is. You can see hills off in the distance. You see the lake there. And I'm gonna show you Onion Creek where you can fish, you can walk. You're seeing the trails right here. There's Onion Creek right there. And if you'd like to see one of my favorite Scott Felder model homes that's got the latest trending designs, take a look at the home on the left side of your screen. I really thank you for watching today.